Hare Krishna. Whenever we go through life, we often act as mentors for others. And that means that that we sometimes have to correct them when they do something wrong and we appreciate, congratulate them when they do something right. Now, what we appreciate is what gets reinforced. And if we want to reinforce healthy behavioral patterns, then we need to appreciate the right things. Quite often we appreciate people, especially say parents, may appreciate the children when they achieve something very good. So they come first in the class or they win a particular competition or they excel in a particular sport. Now that's natural to appreciate when somebody achieves something. However, achievement is not in our hands. We may try our best, but there's so many factors beyond our endeavor that determines the results. So when parents or anyone in general appreciate someone else for their achievements, then that leads to an extrinsic sense of self-worth. That means I'll be appreciated, accepted and loved only when I achieve this. And if I don't achieve this, I won't be appreciated. It's not like that. Yeah, certainly we may love, we love our other loved ones and we would naturally want them to achieve wonderful things. But extrinsic self-worth creates a lot of insecurity, fear, resentment and it is quite psychologically unhealthy. So if you want to foster intrinsic self-worth, we need to recognize the dynamics of how things work and appreciate others for that which is in their control, not that which is beyond their control. And what is in their control? The Bhagavad Gita explains that there are multiple factors that lead to the successful result, successful result in an action. In 1814 it is said, So, Adhishthanam, the arena of work, the body, Karta, the soul, Karanam, the particular senses, which you need to have the specific abilities to do something. Prithak Vidha, the endeavor that somebody does. And Daiva, destiny. Daivam Chaivatra Panchamam. So for example, if we consider somebody who is as a singer, they participate in singing competition, their body has to be healthy, their singing voice has to be good, they shouldn't have a sore throat. And they should be, the soul should be present in the body and then they should have practice so that they can improve their singing. And beyond that, what is the quality of the competitors over there? What is the subjective mood of the judge at that time? So many other factors come into the picture to determine the result. So now, Cheshta endeavor is what is in our hands. And if we appreciate others for their commitment, then that fosters intrinsic self-worth. Yes, if I do my best, I'll be appreciated. Of course, the world will only see the results, but then the difference between the world and the loud ones is that the loud ones are not so carried away by externals. They see the internals. So if we want to foster, in, if we, are, we truly love our others and we want them to come close to us, then we need to see them not the way the world sees them, but see them the way the loud ones see. And that is, look for uh, what is in their control, what they are doing right, not for things which are beyond their control and look and what is happening right to them. So if we appreciate their commitment more than their achievement, then we can foster intrinsic self-worth. Thank you. Hare Krishna.